there, I didn't see you there. I'm just writing my Christmas list to Santa. I'm asking for some coffee, some wine, and some post-it notes. But since you're all here, it's time for another edition of The Art of Online Marketing. And today's topic is wrapping up 2017. So, a lot can happen in a year, and I know that 2017 was a big year for me. So, looking back at 2016 at this time of the year, it's amazing how many things can be accomplished in a year and how much your business can evolve. And it's really easy to look forward now and, and set up our goals for 2018 and just really underestimate what we can accomplish in an entire year. So today what I'd like to do is have a little bit of a look back at 2017, see see what evolved here, and, and give you a few tips and lessons that, that I learned that hopefully you can apply to your business as well. So before we get started, if you're watching, let me know in the comments who you are, where you're watching from, and if you have a business, what type of business you have. I'd love to hear from you, and I love knowing who is here watching with me. So, so let me know there in the comments, and please share this video so that it can benefit the people in, in your network. All right, so let's get into our time machine and go back to 2016. So take a look at, think about what you were working on at that this time last year. Think about what you were planning on accomplishing for 2017 and think about what your challenges and preoccupations were at the time. All right, so, so mood set. So for me, I really want to share what what I've done in 2017. So in 2017, I really ramped things up with, with my business. So I got really, really focused on, on ramping things up and working with the right customers and, and um, that kind of thing. So really looking for the people that I can really help. So the first awesome thing that happened is I decided to, to just trim down all the services I was offering. So I was offering, social media stuff, but I was also offering business coaching and all kinds of other things that were really muddying up the message that I was putting out there and my messaging wasn't clear and I wasn't seen as the expert in anything. I was just dipping my toes in a whole bunch of areas. But for me, I knew that I was really passionate about social media. I knew I was really good at it and that's where I want to focus my time. So I decided to cut away everything else and just to focus on social media marketing and to go forward with that service because it's still a pretty broad area and and it, it it's still you can still offer a lot of services under that so i wanted to do only social media marketing and not all of these other things that were clouding up my message and i wasn't super super pumped about offering so i only want to do the things that i really like doing and that was social media so that's that's one accomplishment that i made in 2017 so trimming down on that the second one was I knew that the only person who could really make things happen for my business was me. So I toyed around with trying to set up some partnerships and working with other people and those never really took off. So I knew that it was up to me to just really put the foot on the pedal and start making things happen. So the first place I wanted to focus was locally. I wanted everyone in the local community to know who I was and what I offered and what I could do for them. So I set up a series of local workshops and those are also called the art of online marketing. Ooh, reuse that name. So I did one in Shelburne, I did one in Yarmouth, and I did one in Clare. So the workshops in themselves were a great opportunity to get to know more people in the area, but all of the marketing and the promotion that came along with them had a huge impact on, on getting me out there, raising awareness of my business, and getting people to recognize me and, and know who I am. So I had ads going, I had all kinds of buzz happening, there was posters, 
whatever is possible to market a workshop, I had it. That's also when I started doing regular live videos. So before this point, before the workshops, I wasn't doing consistent live videos. I was doing them here and there along with a written blog. So thank you and you're welcome for, for that. So that's where the live videos started and, and I've been doing them ever since. So that was back in April or May and I've been doing live video every single week except for a couple of times when I was away. I've been doing it every single week since, since then. So that in itself has had a huge impact on me and my visibility doing these live videos every single week and, and reaching out to you. And then also there was a point where I I really beefed up the live video. So instead of doing a six minute video, they're now about 20 minutes. So I had really have the time to dig in there and, and give you some tips and tricks and some some good insights and actions that you can take to grow your business through through social media. All right. So the other thing I did was I got really, really focused on who it was that I want to work with. So social media can be a huge benefit to all businesses and all organizations. I really, really do believe that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I am best suited to work with all of those people. There are certain types of, of businesses and business owners that I'm best suited to work with. And, and those are people who are motivated, people who are willing to invest in themselves, and people who, who are willing to put the needs of the business in front of, of their own personal insecurities. So I really started attracting the types of people that I really, really wanted to to work with and who really, really want to work with me. So that was super exciting. Well, I mean, it didn't just happen, it happened slowly, but I'm really excited that now I'm working with many of my, what I would describe as dream customers. So that's exciting. And then another thing is when I first started out, I was working with a lot of business owners who were receiving funding from various programs. And I mean, that is great. And it's great that there's programs out there that allow businesses to hire coaches and consultants to help them on their way, but it creates an extra barrier. So I can't just have a conversation with a business owner, shake on it and go forward. If they're looking for funding, you need to write a proposal, get it approved and do all these extra steps that, that create, like I said, an extra barrier or an extra obstacle. So I'm really thrilled that now, all of my current clients are just paying me directly. So it makes everything a lot easier and it, it just, it's another, it's another indicator that they have confidence in me, that they're willing to pay me out of their own pocket to get that investment back by attracting more customers and growing their business through social media. All right, so those are my three biggest, biggest, sorry, biggest accomplishments for for the year, those are the three three big ones I would say. There's lots of other mini things that happen and there's lots of actions and steps that led up to those, but those are the three biggest things for me. Now, I want to share with you some, some insights that I got in 2017. So first, and I mean, this is probably fairly obvious, but running a business is a lot of work. So it's more work than you ever imagined that it would be. And if you're not working harder every single day than, than you ever have, you're probably not doing it right, right? So it is really a lot of hard work. And if you're a business owner, you absolutely know that. And people, people who don't own a business, you know, the same people, they're never really going to understand the amount of blood, sweat, tears, and energy that you put into your business, right? So sometimes you're going to break down and cry because you don't have enough customers, and then sometimes you're gonna break down and cry because you have too many customers 
too many projects on the go, you don't know when you're going to finish anything or get anything done, and meanwhile, you're looking out there and everyone has perfect Christmas tree, perfect baking, perfect, nice, pretty, decorated house, clean house, um, and they're accomplishing all these things, and you are in your pajamas, and you don't even know what day of the week it is, and, and that kind of thing. So that can happen, too, if you're a business owner, but hopefully not too often, but it definitely can happen, and you know that you're working your, your butt off to create a sustainable business, to have something that people who aren't in business for themselves will will never understand um, but I mean this is a personal choice so that that's where you are so another thing to keep in mind there is you don't need to do it all yourself you can absolutely hire people to help you out with the the pieces of your business that either you don't like doing uh, you're about at doing or they're just too time-consuming and they're not really they're not really uh, moving the ball forward so don't be afraid to to reach out and ask for help and hire some help there too okay number two you absolutely need to be visible so the thing is a lot of business owners think that they're being visible when they're not um, either they think that they've posted one thing on Facebook or they think that all the information is on their website and that people should just know so first of all assume that nobody goes to your website right so people will go to your website the first time they hear about you and then maybe once again if they're looking for something specific but people really don't spend a lot of time on your website so I want you to assume they don't see your website so if there's information on your website that you're not putting out there on social media, people aren't really going to see it. So you always need to be putting things in, in front of people. Keep in mind that when you're posting on social media, you are competing with everything else out there. So that is babies doing things, kittens doing things, people wearing Chewbacca masks, that kind of thing. You're not only competing with your competitors, you're competing with the two billion people on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you are, you're competing with all of the content that's going out there. So it really is a job in itself to get your content seen. So you need to be posting more than you think you need to be posting. You need to be posting pictures and you need to be posting videos and you need to be doing live videos so even if you think you're being visible chances are you really aren't I and mean, even if people are telling you they see you everywhere it doesn't necessarily mean that you've broken through that that bubble of people you're already associated with so be five times more visible than you think you should be. So I want you to post something on social media every single day. And then once you accomplish that, I want you to go back and look at how you can make those posts even better. And then once you've done that, I want you to look back on your posts and say, hmm, how can I get more people to see my content? So it really, really is about being visible and being like five times more out there than you really think that you need to be. Okay, and number three is you gotta have fun. So you are dedicating all of your time and energy to your business. And if you're not having fun, what's the point, right? So if you're not having fun, take a step back, say, hmm, why am I not having fun? Is it because I'm working on projects that I don't like? Maybe I'm working with clients that are weird and bossy and I don't like working with them or maybe you're working too much or not enough or that kind of thing so take take a step back see why it is you aren't having fun in your business if so if you're already having fun yay um, so why aren't you having fun in your business find out what that that pain point is of why you're not having fun and, and make some steps to to fix it if you're not passionate about what you do which I mean, most business owners are, so I'm not too concerned about that. But if you're not super passionate about what you're doing, maybe you need to mix it up a bit and, and focus on, on something else. So number three, you gotta have fun in your business. So make a list of 
core values, the things that you value, and make sure that you are not in conflict with any of those in your business. So if you, one of your core values is spending time with your family and you're working 80 hours a week, well, there's a conflict there, so you probably need to do something to, to fix that. All right, so there we have it. Three, three big accomplishments for me and my business and uh, three, three tips and insights that I've learned this year that hopefully you can apply to your business as well. All right, so this is our last Art of Online Marketing for 2017. My name is Denise, and I am the owner of Stratigro, and I empower business owners to connect with their audience and build relationships with their potential customers on social media so that they can grow their business, and I teach them how to have fun while doing it. Okay, so I'll see everybody in January 2018. Thank you so much for sticking with me the entire year. And if you want to hear from me every week, go to my website, strategra.ca, and, and sign up to get onto my, onto my email list so you can be reminded every time I do one of these live videos. Okay, thank you, everyone. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.